Hey, man, let's learn how to compress vocals in Logic Pro X. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com. This channel is all about helping you to record and mix better and faster. Today, we're going to be jumping into Logic Pro X to explore compression, talk about what compression is, how to apply it, and all the parameters inside of a compressor. And I'll show you some settings that you can start with. All right. So let's go ahead and first discuss what is a compressor. A compressor is basically made to control the dynamic range of an audio signal. Dynamic range is simply the span between the loudest point in that signal and the quietest part. It's important to control that dynamic range so that once we set our volume fader, some parts aren't peaking and being too loud, and then other parts are too quiet. Because if we set the fader to make sure that the quiet parts are audible, then the loud parts are gonna be too loud. And if we set that fader for the loud parts to be audible, well then the quiet parts are gonna be too quiet. So a compressor restricts that dynamic range and gives us a more even overall signal so that we can set that fader and have that vocal or whatever it is that you're compressing sit perfectly in your mix. Let's go ahead and jump into Logic and I'll show y'all what I'm working with. So I have a session here with a vocal on it. I'm going to play a part of it so we can hear that uncompressed vocal and then I'm going to show you how to apply the compressor using a stock Logic compressor which is actually really really good compressor and yeah I'll show you the settings from there okay. So let's take a listen to what we got. Getting paid in the off season, all that beef I'm not vegan. They used to call me young heathen, I keep that heat, it's op season. From the block to the blockchain, Mazda the Moose my coin base like blue flames, I'm dropping gems like loose chains. When you apply a compressor, you wanna apply it as an insert on the track. That way it compresses the entire signal of that track, all right? So if you don't have already open, go up to the top left corner of your edit window here on that toolbar in Logic and click on the little mixer with the fader icons. This will let you see your track mixer. I like to work here. Yes, you could do this over on the inspector, but I just like to see everything a little bit more laid out, all right? So this track here, my vocal track, is what we're gonna be compressing today. And right up under my input in the audio effects section, this is where I would apply to imp insert an audio effect. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and choose a compressor. Compressor is a dynamic processor, so we're going to come down to the dynamic section. We're going to go to compressor. We're going to choose that mono compressor. And wow, look at this big old compressor in Logic, man. This compressor has so much different options, so many different ways that you can use it. But I'm going to go over some of the most basic controls for y'all today so that you can easily get started. So at the top here, you got all the different styles of compression. We're just going to keep it classic right now with the Platinum Digital that default, this is gonna work really well. Let's go ahead and talk about some of the controls on this compressor. So starting over to the left, we have our input gain. Input gain is gonna be useful if your signal is too quiet or too loud coming into the compressor. This way you can adjust that signal, but since I've already recorded in at a great signal level, I don't need to worry about this input gain. So you're gonna be good there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and skip over everything in the middle and go to the output gain side, all right? The output gain is ultimately going to determine how much the level is on the output. So after you do all your compression, if the signal is too quiet or too loud, if you want to raise it or lower it, you can change that here. Now that is different from this section that says makeup gain. Makeup gain is going to be the gain that you add back in once you actually do the compression. So compression is gonna limit the louder parts, and by doing that, our signal overall is gonna be quieter. We'll use the makeup gain to bring that signal level back up to the level that it was or to a level that we wanted at. This compressor actually has an auto gain feature so that once it detects how much you are compression by, how much you are attenuating that signal, it can automatically give it back to you, all right? So that may be something that you wanna explore as you're working in your mix. So let's go ahead first and start off talking about the threshold. The threshold, I like to think about this as like you ride in the car with your mom. The threshold is going to be the point to where you turn that music up too loud and she's like, you know what? I've had enough. I'm going to start to turn it down. So the threshold is the point at which the audio signal, you set it. And when you say, hey, if any audio goes past this point, start to engage the compressor and turn it down. Now, how much are we going to turn it down is going to be controlled by the ratio. 
Ratios normally you would sound something like a two to one, a three to one, a four to one, where a two to one ratio is pretty light compression and is basically saying for every two dB that exceeds our threshold, only one dB will allow it to pass, okay? Or in other words, we're gonna chop it off by one dB. Whereas if I boost this up and say, let's go to 20 to one, well, now we're getting off into limiting and we're saying that, hey, for every 20 dB that exceeds our threshold, only one dB is going to be allowed to pass. And that's going to be pretty heavy compression, all right? So for a vocal, setting your threshold or for anything that you're doing, setting the threshold is going to depend on the level of the signal coming in. So we'll have to set that based off of our in incoming signal level once we actually start to play this and set it, okay? Um, and as far as the ratio, this is where you kind of determine how much you want to compress. I typically like to compress vocals in between anywhere from three to six or seven um, to one on the ratio. So um, you got to play around with that depending on how dynamic your vocals are or and how much you want to control those dynamics. You may need to adjust those settings a little bit differently. Now the knee... The knee control determines how smoothly of a transition are we going to go from the uncompressed to the compressed signal, whereas a slow knee or a hard knee is going to transition really fast and harsh from uncompressed to compressed, whereas a softer knee or a higher knee is going to be a little bit more gentle, gradual transition from uncompressed to compressed. Um, for vocals, I like to stay somewhere around right in the middle, somewhere in that sweet spot, all right? Let's talk about attack and release now. Attack, simply put, like once your mother reaches over and and grabs that volume knob because the sound has exceeded her threshold, how fast is it going to take her to turn that signal down, right? How fast is it going to take to reach our thresh, our ratio of how much compression we want to get? And then once that signal recedes the threshold and your mother takes her hand off the knob, the release time... <laughs> is how long after she's released that knob or the signal's going beneath the threshold do, are you allowed to turn the signal back up to where it was at or stop compressing the signal, all right? Attack and release time, there is an auto button here where um, Logic can automatically through this compressor sense the material that you're compressing and set the attack and release time accordingly. If you're going to do it on your own, which is good practice to get into, um, you kind of want to be watching the meters here and seeing how, how that's reacting, but also just listening, right? But one thing that's really easy to hear is kind of if the release time is lagging and holding on to that compression for too long, you want the attack time to be fast enough to actually catch the peaks as they're coming past the threshold, because once they see the threshold, if they ducking back down and faster than the attack time, is attacking it, then they're not going to get compressed. And then if the release time is too long, well, then even after that signal has receded the threshold, it'll still be holding on and the compressor won't have time to recover for the next peak that comes through. So you're going to have to work with those and the attack and release time is what really is going to make the difference in how your compressor sounds on your vocal. One more control that I'll talk about here is going to be the mix control. Now, I like this uh, mix control because it basically allows you to do parallel processing right inside of this plugin. So where 100% wet or all the way at 100% will basically be full compression. Or if I break this in half and I say, you know what? We'll get 40% of the original signal and um, maybe 60% of the compressed signal. That will allow me to retain some of the original dynamics of that signal if need be, all right? So let's go ahead and now start to work on compressing this vocal. We're going to play it from this section. And I'm going to start off by adjusting my threshold to get that needle to start moving. Get paid in the off season. All that beef, I'm not vegan. They used to call me Young Heathen. I keep that heat. It's op season. From the block to the blockchain. Mazda the moose same. My coin base like blue flames. I'm dropping gems like loose chains. Cool. Now, I do want to bring my release time, make it a little bit slower. It's going a little bit fast for me, so I'm going to turn that release time up a little bit just so we hold that compression a little longer. Getting paid in the off season, all that beef, I'm not vegan. They used to call me Young Heathen, I keep that heat, it's op season. From the block to the block, time. And then I'll slow down the attack time too, so that that vocal stays a little bit more punchy and some of those dynamics, some of those 
peaks can still get through. Getting paid in the off season, all that beef, I'm not vegan. They used to call me young heathen, I keep that heat, it's op season. From the block to the blockchain, Mazda the Moose, my coin base like blue flames, I'm dropping gems like loose chain. Oh, and then I backed off my ratio a little bit so that we're not compressing it so hard and we're going to keep those dynamics. Now I'm looking at my meter. This is my gain reduction meter here. And I'm able to see that we're getting about negative six, negative seven dB of gain reduction. So I can use my makeup gain here to push that back up and get that signal back to the loudness that it started at. Getting paid in the off season. All that beef, I'm not vegan. They used to call me young he That might have been a little much. Getting paid in the off season. All that beef, I'm not vegan. They used to call me young he Then I keep that heat. It's op season. From the block to the blockchain. Mazda the moose. All right, see, I'm looking at my output and I see that it's kind of peaking a little bit. So that's letting me know that I might need to either turn my makeup game down or bring my ratio back up and and really get those peaks a little harder so let's listen again getting paid in the off season all that beef i'm not vegan they used to call me young he then i keep that heat it's op season from the block to the blockchain right and then also that attack time can really come down it'll be a little bit faster to get some of those peaks let's hear it. getting paid in the off season all that beef i'm not vegan they used to call me young he then i keep that heat it's op season from the block to the blockchain mazda the moose same my coin base like blue flames i'm dropping gems like loose chain getting paid in the off season all that beef i'm not vegan they used to call me young he then i keep that heat it's op season from the block to the blockchain mazda the moose same my coin base like blue flames i'm dropping gems like loose chain oh uh, yeah I'm liking how that's sitting in that mix now a whole lot better. I'm going to turn this compressor on and off so we can listen to it and compare the before and after. Getting paid, getting paid, uh, yeah. Getting paid in the off season, all that beef, I'm not vegan. They used to call me young he, then I keep that heat, it's op season. From the block to the blockchain, Mazda the Moose same, my coin base like blue flames, I'm dropping gems like loose chain. Oh, man, compressing really helps to bring out the life in that vocal, helps to make the vocals more um, intelligible so we can understand each of the lyrics and feel each punctuation. <laughs> Just feel it all, man. I'm Wavy Wave from wavingwave.com. Make sure you use these tips next time you're compressing and uh, subscribe to the channel if this helped you out. Be dope.